Back towards you. Keep going. Back towards you. Back. Don't be a dick. Oh my God. <laughs> Boy, one of these days we'll figure out how to do this. Make movies. Self-taught. Um, so right. exciting day. Yes. Are you excited? excited? Or is it just me? No, we're both excited. We're both excited. Yes. So um, we picked up the Rebel 17 from Extreme Tumblers. Um, traditionally, we've been using the central machinery tumbler from Harbor Freight, uh, about three pound barrels. It's great. I mean, for the money, in my opinion, you really can't beat it. It's done a good job, but I liked it. it's, it's really slow and it's really limited on how much rock you can actually uh, tumble. Pretty much if we do both of these barrels and we finish, uh, get all the rocks out, we usually get enough rock for one of our barrels for the Lotto vibratory tumbler, and we have a double barrel machine. So it takes us quite a while to be able to fill this up uh, using the Harbor Freight method. Why, thank you. Well, you're welcome. And uh, so we figured, let's upgrade. So this isn't uh, a paid advertisement or anything. This is just, we picked this up. We wanted to check it out. So we're pretty excited to see what it is. And uh, figure we do an unboxing and maybe a comparison, see what happens. Yes. So, so far, box got here pretty, pretty intact, no damage. So happy about that. Uh, I picked this one up on Amazon because uh, that's what you do. Had some points to burn. So uh, I think the total price was just under 300, somewhere around there. So it's not cheap. It's, uh, you know, but then again, I, I've gone the cheap route. I did the Harbor Freight thing and you get what you pay for. It's fun to learn on. It was a good, it was great. If you're just starting out, um, the Harbor Freight is a great way to go. But if you're a buy once, cry once kind of person, um, Maybe this is the uh, better route for you. I think you. I'm done with that. Okay. So it looks like we got two boxes. And. Uh, oh, what's this? That's nice. That is styrofoam. It's <laughs> super fancy. Okay, so it looks like in this box, we've got our base. That's solid. That's a. Uh, you know what that remi reminds me of is an old record player. Oh, yeah. You know, it's got that really uh, kind of solid feel to it. Let's see what else we got. We got some instructions that come in that box. And I may go back and refer to them. But not yet. Ooh, more styrofoam. Yes, my favorite. All right. So I have a... Big, heavy bucket. It's way bigger. And I'm pretty yeah. sure all the stuff, I hope all the stuff is inside this bucket. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, I think we're done with that yeah. one. We'll get that out of the way. So, got your rubber gasket. Got a box. Looks like I got a belt and the rest of the hardware in this bag here inside. So, eh. for size comparison. Uh, <laughs> Quite a bit bigger. That's, that's massive. That's, uh, this is your three pound tumbler from Harbor Freight versus this thing. It's, uh, you can pretty much fit both of the whole containers in there almost. So I'm excited to uh, get this thing running. So 
Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so good at this. You're making me nervous cutting towards yourself. I like to live dangerously. Okay. Some filler. Ooh, some comes with some uh, sugar for your coffee. We'll use that later. Oh no, this is the do not eat stuff. We don't want that. And your motor. So it tells you how to unbox it in case you haven't got to that stage yet. <laughs> uh, it looks like I did it right. Remove the barrel, remove the barrel and uh, remove packaging. So we're good. Uh, let's see. Let's put some of these guys on. Careful not to cross thread. So let's get a little close up of what we got going on so far. Got your motor with the two prongs here, four in the back. So your two pressed in here for the side that holds the pulley. And then on the back, your two rest on the back here. Set those down in there and put my little Lock nuts on. Um, so that's the first thing I'm noticing that's a little odd is this bracket here. If you can see that, seems like it's cocked off to the side. You see, you've got a gap here and then no gap here. This seems yeah, like yeah, it's fairly good. flush, but the bracket seems a little crooked. So, so we put that together. We'll see if that's going to affect anything, but um, pulley, I'm guessing you've got to adjust this thing accordingly. So probably easiest to get the pulley on first and then pop it onto your spline there. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. It's a little snug. Definitely. Uh, requires a little finagling. There you go. So before I tighten that down, you got your adjuster bolt here. Little Allen head adjuster bolt. It does come with the right Allen wrench. So before I adjust that, I'm going to make sure I tighten all of these down. So let me get some tools and get that done. So uh, if anybody is wondering if they have to put this together, nine millimeter of course i don't have anything that ratchets that's nine millimeter because it's a dumb size how you doing i'll be back in 20 minutes i want to do a little side by side just to see what the speed is etc um one thing I did figure out is this barrel is specific which direction you have to put it on. If you try and put it on this way over here, you can see once it starts turning, you're going to hit the rollers with the knobs. So it's pretty specific on there. I mean, you're going to know immediately when you screw it up, but it has to go on that way so that these tracks line up through there. So I think we're ready for a official. I do like that this has a on and off switch on it. Ready? Start or why don't you do the honors? Do both? I don't know if I'm talented. We'll enough. do this one first. Let's make sure it doesn't blow up first. Ooh. That's quiet. Well, that there's is. nothing in there, but it's a lot. Well, there's quiet. no rocks, but I mean, just the machinery of it. Let's see if we can get a recording of the actual noise. I don't know if that'll pick up or not, but that's pretty quiet as far as, you know, I'm sure once we put the rocks in, it'll get noisier. So let's, let's see what the speed. So 
So as far as which one's going to spin more and turn it more often, I think you're probably going to see more turning on the central. So if you're just doing small batches and you're only doing a few batches at a time, um, or if you're going to do all four stages in a tumbler, this Harbor Freight one, I can't remember what I picked it up for, but it was pretty cheap. So um, if you plan on just doing a couple, doing all your stages in one spot, this central machinery one from Harbor Freight has, it's great. But if you're going to go and do bigger batches, this might be the way to go. This machine so far, pre-use. I'm, I'm impressed. I like it. I think it's good. I, it's... Uh, solid i'm a, i'm excited to see how much rock we can fit in this and give it a test so maybe we'll fill that up tonight these are all of the rocks that we got out of those two barrels between these two barrels you get that many rocks in there this is how many rocks we just filled the new rebel 17 halfway with um and we're going to throw all of these back into it to tumble. Um, so, but pretty cool. The Rebel 17, I like that we can now tumble stuff that is... Size of a potato. I mean, if we were to try and tumble that in there, it's it's going to take a year and it's, there's no room for it. Where with this thing, I mean, barely even notice that it's in there. So I'm excited to test this thing out. Me too. Shall we do it? Yes. Let's see how big it is. Let's pause this thing. All right. Okay. Don't know if that's too full or not, but that's how full we're going to fill it. Should we read the instructions? No. Yeah. Instructions <laughs> are for weirdos. So with the grit, you're supposed to pretty much do about a tablespoon per pound. This is 17 pounds. So, uh, Let's uh, just get going. This is the 6090 grit of silicon carbide. Two, three. Fourteen of those. And I'm going to do three of this, my secret blend recipe of 36 grit silicon carbide because I want to get rid of it. So this sucker is full and it is, it is testing the limits of this table, that's for sure. So let's see how loud this thing is when it's fully loaded. Are you ready? Yes. Uh oh, we're leaking. Hmm. So we've cleaned it up. But I think maybe what was the problem is when I was dumping the grit, I probably got some on the lip here and it was keeping it from getting a good tight seal. So we did do a quick wipe down of the edges. Hopefully that's what was going on because I really want this thing to work. Take two on the hopefully dry spin. Yeah, it's still weakened. Is it? Yeah, really bad. Right here. I guess we won't start tumbling this tonight. All right, so it's been spinning for a couple weeks and we did figure out how to get rid of the leak. I put a couple one inch washers on it and they are just barely small enough to clear the rollers as it goes. So, um, but I did have to tighten those down pretty dang tight. I was doing finger tight. I ended up using uh, these hose grip pliers um, just because they have the soft edge. I didn't crank them down, but I did snug them quite a bit and it stopped the leak. Another thing that I noticed is it developed a squeak, pretty rhythmic squeak. Um, and it ended up being this, you know, uh, belt on the pulley. So what I did is I just like one drop. I mean, I barely even touched it with this stuff. 
some belt conditioner, same stuff you use for your car um, when your belts are squealing. So don't know if that's the approved method, but it sure worked good. So it's been nice and quiet. Uh, you can hear this is the full barrel, how loud it is, which isn't bad. So we're gonna go empty this thing now. So two weeks of spinning. Wow, pulled in a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, gosh, some of those are looking really shiny right off the top. Can I lift this thing? I don't know, can you? <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Oh boy. I'm wondering if that's gonna be able to hold all of them. Eventually we'll find the right setting. Water is hot. Mm. Wow, that is coming along. Still looks like a potato. <laughs> but a smoother oh, potato. Look at that one. Wow. Is that the one we found in Georgia? Uh, I think so. That is gorgeous. That's cool. Ooh, fine. Yeah. That's some pretty good looking stuff here. We've got a lot of very beautiful rocks in here. This, uh, we had some really good surprising uh, results in here. I'm gonna wet them down. Now they're, once they dry, they don't look anything like this, but it gives you a good idea of what to expect. This one is beautiful. Once they polish. So that's really cool. I wish we could figure out what those are because we keep finding them and have no clue. This one's really cool. It almost looks like, uh, I don't know if that's going to be a carnelian or what. And that's that agate. Yeah. Getting some pretty fun little designs and swirls and stuff. Look how red this one is. That guy. I don't know what that is, but looks like got a lot of. Is this one of the ones we got in Utah? I think it is. Um, it's got kind of some orangish uh, brown, clear looking stuff. I'm thinking that is that agate that we found out there. It's and turning I'm, out really nice. That's from Utah. Yeah, that one definitely. Oh, I think this one is too. God, that's so pretty. I didn't get a good view, oh. but that's okay. There you go. I don't know if this one's gonna turn out to be anything. Look at this guy. That's pretty. This has got a lot of really cool stripes and banding. That one's gonna be cool when it buffs out. We may, may or may not maybe grind some of this down, speed up the process. That's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, my half and half rock. That's your 50-50 your rock. <laughs> a little brown, a little red. It's kind of cool. Cool stripes, bandings going on in there. This one was, no, it's this, not that one, but this one. This one looks like mookite or mookite or something. It's usually, it's from Australia, so I don't know why we would have it here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's the that's some of that Utah yeah. agate. But this one is the one. It's got that yellow and red. It's really cool. Looks like stone. I haven't bacon. really seen anything like that before. This guy. That wow, that's gonna be cool. Oh wow. Look at this. Uh, no idea what the uh, these are, but these are another one that we keep finding that polish up pretty good if they don't chip. What you that's got? Really neat. Ooh. Yeah, that's like a surprise agate, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well, and this one looked white when I picked it up and it had a bunch of stripes in it, but you couldn't see any of the black. So this yeah. is a giant surprise. It looks like nice, maybe. It's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> this big agate over here was, this is the one that we broke in half. Ooh, I wonder if I've got Hang on, I think the... Oh, no, I threw it in the front yard. 
I can go grab but it. But this one we broke in half, and the oh. other half we have not tumbled in, and this one's turning out really cool. So we'll probably end up finishing that other half too. This one's neat. Oh yeah. Oh, let me get the shadow off of it. It's really cool. All in all, I mean, good results from the tumbler. Oh, this almost looks like uh, bronzite. Let me get that wet. It's got kind of some sparkle in there. Oh, look at this one. So. That's cool. I don't like that side, but that side's mm. awesome. I think that one wins. Be nice. That's the one I found in the parking lot, just agate sitting in there. That's crazy. Wow. So, all in all, if you're wondering if the Rebel 17 is worth it, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah pretty good haul so yeah if you uh, stick around and watch we'll do some videos later of the polishes on most of these here I think a lot of them are ready to move on so some of them we'll throw back in and rough them up a little bit longer but for the next stage uh, yeah we'll have a video out soon showing that